delicious. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Michael. How are you? Hi, is this Marie? Yeah, uh, but she wants to stay in the car for just a couple of minutes. Oh? Uh -huh. Why? Well, she wants to see you before she agrees to stay. Well, that's not up to her, is it? No. She, uh, she pretty much tore up her group home. The counselor there wasn't familiar with her case history. And he threatened to give her a good smack if she didn't do what he said. I hope they fired the idiot. No, they didn't. But she did put him in hospital. You know, you wouldn't know it by looking at her, Michael, but she carries a lot of anger inside. She's only 15. Yeah. Hi, Marie. I'm Michael. Rachel says you're nice. Rachel told me about your dad. And I want you to know there's nobody like that here. Yep, 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 yep. Ken! Howdy, ma'am. Thank you for hold on later. You gonna stick around? What are you doing out here? <laughs> vacation, man, vacation. Uh -huh. I finally took Michael up on his offer. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of hanging out to keep my distance from this guy that just got out of jail. Why? Doesn't he like you? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Marie, this is Pin. He's a friend of mine. Hi, Marie. How are you doing? That's all right, girl. I'm not going to crowd you. You're in good hands here. All right, Rachel. See you later. OK. I'll back her up. Well! <coughs> Dale, get your daddy the pipe wrench. Well, I don't know where it is. I don't want your two cents. Find the wrench. Looks awful full. It's all that damn rain. There's lots of room. <coughs> Shouldn't be smoking my cigarettes, boy. I never touched them, I swear. Don't swear in the Bible. I seen you myself. We should have moved on by now. I know a plant down the coast that'll give us a contract. As soon as Bethany's up and about, we'll we'll go. Well, if this overflows, we'll have to go. Sick or not, we'll have to move her. She's all right. She's just sick of your damn cooking. Fresh meat every night. Yeah, maybe it was fresh for the first couple of days. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't need no supper tonight, will you? All right, let's finish <laughs> off and get out of here. <coughs> hey, what the hell's that? <coughs> Creature from the Black Lagoon, I guess. <coughs> up early. Before the sun comes up? Sometimes. At home, if I got up early enough in the morning, I could make my own breakfast and sit and eat it by myself. Do you want to be alone? No, it's OK. Have you eaten? Well, do you want to help me give the rest of the animals their breakfast? OK. <laughs> Over here. 
You're uh, not eating? Yeah. Oh. I hope you're not another one of those chicks on a diet. She ate earlier, but you were still in bed. Right. Like She's like that other chick you stuck us with a month or so ago that had bulimia. You just made her sick, Sean. She stuck her finger down her throat all the time. Gross. You uh, stick your finger down your throat? Sean, give her a break. What's she so sensitive about then? Your folks yell at you a lot? Parents suck. First thing you gotta know, don't let them get to you. What do you let get to you? Nothing, man. Especially you. I was uh, looking for a comb. In Reese's bag? He said it was okay. Sit down. Look, I didn't do anything. Sit down. You've stolen from just about every kid here. I'll give everything back. And every time you open your mouth, you tell a lie. I'm not lying now. I want to stay. You know, I begged the judge to let you come here because I really believed that you deserved a chance. Right. But you've used up a hundred chances and that's your last one. Michael, don't. Sometimes it just doesn't work, you know. I mean, it just doesn't work. I don't want to give up on you. But you've made it perfectly clear that you don't want to be here. I do. I want to be. You're not going to fool me anymore. So don't fool yourself. like it's coming from upstream. Get that horse out of there. Check every other animal that drank here. Yeah, and I'd better phone the township, make sure they send a team out to find out what's going on. Tell CC I've gone upstream to check it out. Right. It tingles between your fingers. What is it? It's toxic waste. Garbage. Ever heard of midnight haulers? Not around here. Yeah, well, they're here now. They move around a lot, but they get a contract with a chemical company, and then they just dump stuff, and then nobody seems to care where. I care. So do I. Our stream diverged right at the top of that fall. That means everything from here down, and every one, the Castle Ranch, Ronnie's place, he's got little kids. Everyone's going to be affected. We better keep going, Michael. Yeah. Oh. The stream's clear from this point on. Yeah. You can see where it ran down that rock. Hey, 
Hey, check this place out. Look where they dumped the garbage. I can't believe it. Chemicals. Don't these people understand what they're doing? <laughs> Michael, listen. <laughs> Michael, what's your name? Beth. I got a cold. You sure do. Have you had it a long time? <coughs> you should go away. My daddy's coming home. Beth, you should come with me and see a doctor. Doctors let my mommy die. She looks pretty bad. Yeah. I gotta get her out of here and get her to a doctor. Michael, what about her father? That's kidnapping. Look at this place. It's not a home. And that junk is probably what's making her sick. Mm. All right, we'll check it out. <laughs> Beth. A doctor can make that cough go away. Would you like that? Because our hair is falling out and our skin is glowing? Look, what does it take to convince you guys that somebody dumped a barrel of poison in my stream? Yeah, well, you better be out first thing in the morning or I'm coming to get you. I was thinking we better switch over to bottled water, huh? This kind of thing doesn't just make me mad, Cece. It scares me. What kind of men would do this? <laughs> Take a look around and get right back. Let the police handle this. All right, come on. <laughs> Pin, you stay here. I just want to move my horse upwind. in the country, man. Huh? Right in the middle of... Bethany! Beth! Beth! You better get out of here.
Folks, I got a couple of fellas lurking about the paint tent. Uh, we got lost. Better wipe that stuff off, or it'll burn right through your skin. Where's my little girl? I told you, we're lost. That's right, man, we heard our coffin real bad. And then when we... Where'd you take my baby girl? Take it easy, she's fine. <laughs> Look, we came here and we found your daughter. We're from a ranch down the mountain. What ranch? The Terry Ranch. The chemicals you're pouring here got... Hey! What the hell kind of weirdo is to take a little girl from her own home? I'll take her to town. Pete will know whether she needs a hospital or not. What happened? The doctor will take good care of her. You got some kind of respiratory problem. I won't be long. Give me some more news, son. She's sick, you moron! Hey, where you going? Stay there until I get my baby girl back. Besides, we have to help Michael if they headed to the ranch. Next time I stay home. Well, you have something pressing waiting for you back in the city? Oh, just a loan shark who just got out of jail and wants to kill me. Ugh. So, all in all, you'd rather be here. <laughs> That's my friend Vic, always checking out the bright side. So, what do you want to do, Matthew? It's time we moved on anyways. Yeah, we've been up here far too long as it is. As soon as we get Bethany back, we can head south of the border. The cops are going to be on the lookout for us if the overflow from that cesspool gets this far down the mountain. Bethany's first. What do you want? Ma'am, this the Terry Ranch? Yeah. Then you bring my little girl to me and there won't be no problems. If you're referring to the sick little girl that Michael brought out of the cabin in the woods, she isn't here. Dell! Then where the hell is she? In a doctor's care. She could barely breathe. She's fine! And she wouldn't go see no doctor. Leave us alone. No, leave. Just get out of here! Shut her up. Now, we're going to have ourselves a look in this big house of yours. I already told you. And I'm telling you, we're not going to leave on your say-so, lady. My little daughter was kidnapped, as far as I'm concerned. And I know for a fact she was brought right here. Everybody in the house, let's go. Who are those guys? I don't know, man. Let's, let's get here. Move it! Go 
course you're all right. You, Terry? No. Michael is not here. This man wants his daughter. I've told them she's not here, they won't believe me. Now I'm asking you. If she's not here, she's not here. What more can we tell you, huh? Thanks, Peter. Talk to you later. Son, go on outside, cut the damn line. They got too many phones in here. Phone in the talk room. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is Michael. Who's this? Barry? Hello? Hello? You also gotta get the cops. Michael? I think my phone must be screwed up. If, uh, if Peter needs me, he knows where I live. Good work, son. Now, who was that on the phone? If you would let me answer it, maybe I could tell you. It was Terry, right? This place is like a jail cell, man. I wouldn't know. Assess the situation. This is a logger shed. Check. Loggers have lots of wood. Check. Which means they don't have to scrimp on materials. So the walls and ceiling probably aren't the way out of here. Check. However, this floor is dirt. We'll tunnel our way out. Who do you think you are, man? Papillon? Papillon. Where's Michael? What's he doing? Going into the house. <laughs> Let's call him. Michael! Louder! You want them to hear? Michael! I know you want the girl. She's okay. She's in a clinic. I can take you to her. Now, where'd you say my little girl was? You all right? I'm okay, Fox. <laughs> my name's Michael Terry. I own this ranch. If you want to talk about your daughter, let's do it on the way to the doctor's. You stay right where you are, mister. She's got a cold. That's all. She wouldn't take no ride, no place with no stranger. And she'd rather look the devil in the face than go see no doctor. That stuff you're dumping is making her very, very sick. Well, I'm going to take her home. And that could kill her. I could kill you, too, you know that? That's up to you. But I can take you to her. Don't, Matthew. I don't trust him. What do you say, Matthew? Let my kids go and let's talk. We're not his kids. Sean, let the boy talk. I don't even want to be here anymore. He keeps us here against our will. This isn't the time to be making jokes. I'm not. Just don't want to be your slave anymore. Tell him the truth. The truth is, 
that you kidnap kids and you brainwash them to work for you. Stop! Just stay Mister. Don't let him hurt me anymore. So he kidnapped you too, son. Glad you guys showed up. I've been here for three months. <coughs> How about you, little girl? Don't bother her. We do his chores for him. He makes us do everything he says. Everything he says, eh? Most of the kids have been sent here by the courts. I don't want to hear about it. I heard of these places. This is one of them cults. <laughs> no, it isn't. Don't believe them. You got my little Bethany hid somewhere in your ranch, don't you? Your little girl is very sick. The stuff you're dumping is toxic. It affects your lungs and your thinking. Don't try to brainwash me! All right, Sean. <laughs> take me around and take me at this place. Dell, keep an eye on him. Let me go with you. What for? I know the ranch better than anyone. And the sooner you realize your girl isn't here, the sooner you'll leave. Okay. Uh, let me have your hat. What for? No way, man. Uh uh. I need something to carry the dirt out of here. This is brand new, man. I bought the whole outfit for coming out here. What's wrong with your hat? It got kicked off. Thanks. Where'd you find that? In the corner. What is it? I don't know. Looks like preserves. Well, I can use the lid for digging, but uh, probably ought to preserve the preserves. Never know how long it could take to dig out of here. Well, I'm not going to try it. You try it. I'm not going to try it. Well, sniff it then. If you live, then I'll try it. Well? Somewhere between uh, cherry jelly and... Homemade wine. Then I'll try. Lousy cherries. Not bad wine, though. Let me try some. Oh, get your own. You know. Nothing is going to happen to you. I won't let it. They won't hurt you. I promise you. <coughs> do you hear me? I hate them. I know you do. But they have to go through me to get to you, and I won't let that happen. I promise you. but hungry animals. What's upstairs? That's the boys' bunkhouse. You know all the boys are in the ranch house, Sean. Well, what about... Well, let's go have a look. Already seen the girls' bunkhouse, the shed. That's the whole place. 
You can search day and night, mister. You're not going to find your girl here. I'll find you, Bethany. Somebody's going to pay. Let's go. As long as we're here, uh, mind if I pick up some blankets? Hurry up, hurry up, lady. Come on. Reese, try to get off the ranch. Get help. Be careful. Come on, hurry up! You're gonna regret it if you don't already. I think I'll head out to the Cherry Ranch. Beth's stabilized. Michael will want to know. Then I'll drop off those sleeping pills for Mrs. Wolsey. Don't think of using that poker, mister. I can shoot you faster than you can swing it. <coughs> Daddy says you're a cult freak. Well, your daddy's wrong. About a lot of things. You're just brainwashing me. You know that what your father's doing is wrong, don't you? I mean, dumping all that stuff. It goes away. No, it doesn't. It takes years to wash that stuff away. What do you know about my dad? He's the same as mine. What? What's your daddy do? Don't talk to them, boy. I wasn't. I swear. I was just trying to... Def I wouldn't swear on the Bible, son. I saw you. You got her hit someplace that nobody knows about but you. She's sick. You're the one that's sick. Doing what you're doing to all of God's children. The stuff that you're dumping gives off fumes. Can't you tell? Can't you feel what it's doing to you? Oh, you're a real bleeding heart, aren't you? It's hurting your son, don't you care? Now you... You shut up! Alex. We're not playing games no more. And I'm getting tired of waiting. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Who is it? Hello, we gotta stop him! Who was it? I don't know. We can't go and find out, though. Come on, those highways straight through those trees. Come on, little girl. You can't kill Matthew. It says so in your Bible. What do you care? You're going straight to hell, mister. Then you're coming with me, mister. Who's that? Pete, look out! in here or is it just my imagination? I guarantee it's darker in here. Greg? What? Finn, pull me out of here. Oh, come in, come. <sighs> you gotta ease up on that stuff. It'll make you blind. Too late for that. Well, I hope you're enjoying your little booze up at my expense. <laughs> Michael hasn't shown up yet. You know what that means. Yeah, that means you have to keep digging. No, it means...
means he's probably in more trouble than we are. You know, Michael once told me, if ever he was in real big trouble, he would want you to be there for him. He really said that? Mm -hmm. Those are his exact words. Yeah, well, I guess we've gotten pretty close. Yeah. Next to me, you're probably his best friend. Next to you? What you doing to him? I'm just cleaning the cuts with a little alcohol. Well, leave that be. You don't waste good alcohol on a doctor. You shouldn't have shot at that doctor. I should have hit him square is what you mean. Matthew, the harder we try and make things right, the worse it gets. I'm just saying we don't know everything. Time isn't right. My brother fought back. He stopped my dad from hurting me. These men aren't your father. Gentlemen, I was wondering if I could make everyone something to eat. Oh, I ain't hungry. I am. I make something for the boy. How about the drink, huh? Yeah, I'm thirsty. Haven't you got that damn door covered yet? Hey, Vic, I'll take my turn playing Great Escape if you want me to, you know. Okay. You can dig the last few feet. You're taller than I am. Few feet? How far down on the ground are we anyway? That's full here. Pick it up. It's a funny rabbit. What do you think? Whoa, come here. Oh, you know a way out. Do that again. What? Hit my head? You must be crazy. No, just push up with your hand. That's great. That's just great. I thought you checked the ceiling. My head must have knocked it loose, man. Ah! Last one out is a dirty rat. I can't believe this. All this time you're sitting there getting drunk. All you had to do was push up on that boy.
it's taking so long. Good food takes time. I'll bring your drinks right in. What kind of booze is this? Cognac. Where's that kid? Was right there. How are you and Maurice going for help? <laughs> Not going nowhere, boy. I think here we're going. To look for your girl? Don't lie to me! I thought she was here. She's not here, though, is she? No? Then why'd you lie to me? Get back to Michael. <coughs> I'll tell you what. Because you were lying to me, you can be my hostage. Come on. Alex, we wasted enough time here. We're going into town to find that damn clinic. You try to stop us, I shoot the boy, you understand? You can't take him. If I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut before I change my mind and take the girl, too. You're not <laughs> anybody. What's the matter, Del? Uh, nothing. Let's go. It's his breathing. It's just like his sister. It's just like his mother, Matthew. The chemicals are killing your family. Get up, son! It's happening to Del. You shut up! I don't feel right, Dad. Pull yourself together, son! I'm sick. Hold it! Officer, we've got everything under control. He's all right. He's, he's just asleep. Here. You can have that one. Yeah. Any casualties, Dr. Terry? Get the creek. Get these guys in that truck out of here. We're too late. We stopped the cop car right on the road. You did good, boys. You did great. Out you go. Out. Michael. Um, can I stay? Sit still, Vin. Oh, God, it's good to be home. It looks quiet. Well, I suppose everything's all right, then. Well, I hope Michael can drive me back to Tony, because I have had it. You just hung over from all the cherry jelly you swilled down. Just remember who got us out of that hole. Where have you been? Just let me sit down, I'll explain it. It's been a long, hard day. I think we should go into town to the diner. I'll buy you a cup of coffee and tell you everything that happened. I guess they showed up, huh? Yep. Well, let's go for coffee. Great idea. Everybody's gone to bed. How about you? Think you can sleep? No. Chocolate? Why, you must have this so good, huh? my God. Thanks, Sissy. We've got a new girl coming tomorrow. We'll have to get Barry and Reese and everybody and take her for a nice long ride. Hmm? <laughs> 